Well, all month long at the Elizabeth Hotel in Old Town, Fort Collins, you can celebrate the love you have for your furry friends. Carl Pratt is the GM of the Elizabeth Hotel. He joins us along with Catherine O'Shea, towel healing practitioner and animal communication specialist. Good morning, you two. How are you? Good morning. Feeling good here in, the, here in Fort Collins. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Well, I've heard that uh, this has become such a big thing for so many people. Carl, before we get into it, you sent us some pictures of last week's fun. Tell us, how did it go? Yeah, things were fantastic. We had over 100 dogs over the weekend. Oh uh, Yappy Hour was the big hit with uh, about 70 dogs, uh, all different breeds. Oh. Everybody getting along, having a good time, uh, lots of noses um, with the dogs touching, having having uh, a bunch of fun. Oh, those are adorable pictures that you sent us. Well, Carl, for our viewers who don't know about dog days at the Elizabeth, share more. Well, really, we're just trying to find ways to uh, share the love of unconditional love that dogs do so well and um, here at the Elizabeth. So... With Yappy Hour on every Friday for the February, and then uh, we have special programs every Saturday. That and Catherine will be here this Saturday for uh, for pet communication, and uh, and then every Sunday we have um, drink with your dog, brewery manners with Amber Kwan, who does a fantastic job of getting your dog to do the things you want them to do, so that you can be comfortable and enjoy your time out at a restaurant or a cafe or a brewery. Man, that is pretty cool right there. Well, if you've ever wanted to do something nice for your doggies, this is the thing to do. Now, let's get into the fun for this weekend. What is on the calendar for people wanting to make the drive up there? Well, we, uh, you know, Yappy Hour starts at 4, so uh, come early and uh, come often. The, uh, we are going to have a lot of fun, again, with, with uh, all the dogs. Uh, we, uh, and one of the things that I found, it was just the, the, so the socialization, meeting other people who have dogs and love their dogs, um, and dogs getting together, they, they just had a great time. And, mm -hmm. um, and Catherine will talk more about her program with, with Pet Communication, that's on Saturday. And uh, Amber, we, had, we, we maxed out, so uh, we had 25 dogs uh, with Amber. And um, so she's doing that again Sunday. And so I, I think that the, the, those who came uh, learned really a number of things that they felt were gonna be really helpful to them to be able to enjoy their dog out and about. That is so interesting. So, Catherine, that brings me to you. Now, this is where you come in, the pet communication. How does that work? <laughs> you know, I'm so grateful to be a part of these amazing, amazing time to spend with our animals at the Elizabeth Hotel. So, you know, animals are such amazing communicators non-verbally. Uh, they know how to give us love when we're not feeling well or, or feeling sad because mm -hmm. they're just that tuned in to us and the world around them. So basically what I do is I just tap into the level of heart and soul, that connection that we know is real and alive. Um, you know, it's like when you text someone or call someone and they're like, I was just thinking of you. Uh -huh. It's that way that we're all connected and we share that bond. So really, I'm just tuning into that and receiving the information that they want to share with us, whether it's about their physical or emotional health or relationship or behavioral stuff, whatever it is they want to share. And then really just sharing that with their human companion. And it's so amazing to experience people experience this and how yeah. healing and beautiful and heart touching it can be. I would imagine, and you're absolutely right. I mean, dogs are so incredible. Our little Teddy, who is nine years old, can sense when my daughter is a mile away and coming home. It's pretty remarkable. Well, Carl, this has become a really popular event. How can people sign up? Are the events free? What do you recommend so that they are able to get their time in with Catherine and make it out to Fort Collins? Well, I think one of the best things to do is to follow us on social media. Uh, all the information is there, information about each of our presenters and um, some great information as, as far as timing. So uh, th there's, that's the best way to find the information. And of course, the Elizabeth, uh, we, have, we have pet packages and we'd love to have some folks come up from, from uh, the surrounding areas uh, to enjoy the space and, and, and 
uh, enjoy some of our, our local residents and, and their and their pets. I love it. Well, thanks a lot, you two, for joining us this morning. And that is a one good looking doggy you got there. Okay, everyone, celebrate a love of dogs at Dog Days at the Elizabeth. It's all February. And for details, the schedule, and to book your stay, just go to theelizabethcolorado.com. They're also on social media at theelizabethco.